Hi, how are you? I'm pretty good. Uh, I've lost 50 pounds this year. So, <laughs> I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, I realize that a few of you watching have lost more than that and for far longer than I've been doing this. Uh, so I'm not in your league by any stretch of the imagination. I am not done. I am still severely fat. Um, but uh, I thought I'd mark this milestone because it'll be at least another year before I can celebrate another 50 pounds gone. So here's where I stand as of this moment. Um, in terms of weight, generally, um, if 15% body fat remains my goal and I stay at the same amount of fat-free mass, then I am 40% of the way there. There's two ifs in that statement, so that probably will change. Um, in terms of fat lost specifically, uh, since I started measuring my body fat on April 3rd, um, I have lost 19 pounds of fat, 5 pounds of lean tissue, basically a 4 to 1 ratio for a total of 24 pounds. Before April 3rd, I wasn't measuring my uh, body fat. I also wasn't doing resistance training with my full body. Uh, I've looked at the studies on uh, body composition changes without resistance training. Basically, it's, um, you know, if I estimate conservatively, I probably lost fat to uh, lean in a 2 to 1 ratio uh, before then. So that would be 17 pounds of fat and 9 pounds of lean tissue for a total of 26 pounds. Doing up all that math, um, basically I started around 108 pounds of unwanted fat at the beginning of the year. Um, again, assuming 15% body fat is my final goal. And I'm now at 76.4 pounds of unwanted fat. So that is 29% uh, of the way there. In terms of the time frame that I set for a complete body transformation, that includes fat loss, uh, growth of muscle, maintenance of all my other lean tissues, good skin tone, and other changes to improve my health overall. I am 14% of the way between New Year's Day uh, this year and my 40th birthday, which is in March of 2014. So, um, the 50 pounds lost is good. Um, it's uh, important to remember that I've lost 50 pounds before uh, on two previous occasions only to gain it all back and more basically the 50 pounds that I've just lost is the and more part of that statement um, and I'm basically weight wise at the s where I was when I started both of my big weight losses in my twenties um, but there's I'm really happy about two things in particular uh, the first is, at 334 pounds, I think it was on the brink of almost becoming uh, disabled as a result of my weight. Um, it is a relief to have pulled myself off of that brink. Um, it's wonderful to feel like a normal human being again, and to be able to do normal daily activities without any problem. So, I'm enjoying that. A uh, second thing is that... Uh, I'm really proud of how I've done it. Um, every change that I made was not judged by how much fat I would lose as a result of making the change. It wasn't, well at least it wasn't judged by that alone. It was mostly judged by how realistic it was um, given my personality and my lifestyle. You know, uh, I've just, I've gotten to a point in my life where I've realized that who I am and how I live my life and what I do is really not going to change that much. Um, and it really hasn't changed that much up to this point and it's not going to in the future. Um, so everything I had to do has to remain within the limits of that or ultimately it will be a failure in my opinion. Um, additionally, everything that I do has to be absolutely has to be uh, sustainable for a whole lifetime or I just don't even bother with it um, and uh, as a result of that uh, I am 100 percent confident that the fat I've lost is permanently lost um, and that the fat I'll lose in the future will be permanently lost um, as a result of that also it hasn't been a struggle um, I've had very, I've had no problem really with motivation or discipline. 
Um, you know, uh, so there's been no, there's been no starvation, no hunger whatsoever. Uh, I eat what I want to eat. I do only do what I enjoy doing as far as physical activity. Um, I do work very hard when I lift weights, but uh, I enjoy it most of the time. And um, I only do it on Monday, Wednesday, Friday for about an hour and 15 minutes each time. So, and you know, and I'm doing it in the comfort of my own home. Really, the sacrifices on my time are, uh, you know, realistic and sustainable for the rest of my life. So I'll continue to do that. Um, I'll continue to uh, do what I've been doing, make changes as needed. Uh, I continue to uh, not believe in arbitrary calorie restriction on either side, either the diet side or the cardio side. Um, I continue to believe that my body is fully capable of regulating its fat tissue without doing any of that. Um, I continue to restrict my carbohydrates, but not in an arbitrary way. I have no idea how many grams of carbohydrates I take in a day, and I have no idea uh, what percentage they make up my uh, what percentage they make up of my total nutrient intake and I don't particularly care. Uh, what I care about and what I pay attention to is how I feel after I eat a certain amount of a certain thing and whether I lose weight after eating a certain amount of a certain thing and I make small adjustments as necessary and um, I usually feel better after I make that adjustment so I don't need any motivation to keep that you know to maintain that adjustment um, so basically I just listen to my body and I obey what I feel and it has served me very well most of all I continue to be patient and give it time um, which doesn't make for a very exciting YouTube channel but uh, that's okay um, I lost my first 16 pounds offline, um, but I'm so glad that I lost the other 34 pounds with you. I'm, uh, I'm, I am I want to thank everyone who's watched and commented and supported me. Uh, uh, you know, the support means a lot, and uh, I promise I will not disappoint you in the next 50 pounds. And so, on to it. Have a good night, day, whatever, week, <laughs> and I will see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.